clubs closing and people not knowing where to go, many deaf people meet in pubs and communicate through text using social media such as Twitter and Facebook. Two people hit upon the idea to set up the Deaf Lounge Bar so people could go there and sign together. We met up with the team to find out more. Hi, my name's Stephen. I'm a deaf bouncer. Deaf people are welcome, the people are nice, and there's no trouble, okay? It's a lovely, brilliant, chatty place. Right on. Come in, come in. This is the Deaf Lounge. It's beautiful. It's spacious with great lighting. The TVs all have subtitles and specialist fire alarms have been fitted. Hi guys, hello. Hi. Hello, hello. Hi, would you like a drink? We've got a short drink especially for C here. It's beautiful. Come on, come and taste it for yourselves. You'll love it. Come on. They have birthdays here, card games, all sorts of things. We can sign, have a chat and enjoy ourselves and see others enjoying themselves. There are never any problems, we just have a good time. The Deaf Lounge is open to anyone. We're open-minded. Deaf people, hearing people who are interested in learning sign language, disabled people and those with ushers. Really, it's open to anyone who is interested in talking with their hands. We're flexible. I feel like being boss here, it's like my home. It's so relaxed. It feels like I'm at home with my family. It's my job, but it doesn't feel like I'm working. It's just like being at home. On the first day, I was fretting and working hard to make it all perfect. And then we opened the doors and I wondered whether we would have any customers. and was very relieved when people did turn up. I need to encourage their business. I want people to be aware that we have a deaf pub, that it's here. We need to try and get more people here in the future, more customers at the deaf lounge. Where is there another deaf pub? There isn't one. They're hearing, and it's them that are profiting. The deaf lounge makes full use of social media, with a Facebook page and updates, and Twitter feeds which bring in people from near and far. I came all the way over here for work. Making friends is difficult as people are hearing. So when I saw this online, I decided to come and relax and have a good time. It's the first time I've been here. In the future, Paul and the team are planning a deaf DJ and dance lessons. I'd like to advise any deaf people wanting to set up their own business that it is important to keep going and work hard. And you will succeed. Please don't give up. If you do, then it won't happen. Running or setting up your own business is not exclusive to trades and professions like industry, building and accounting. There are also artists and performers who are self-employed. 